We're using the Lean Mean Grilling Machine. I haven't used this in a long time. There's the steak. Oh, it's going to be cooking up. It's going to cook out good. Hi guys, Stacy Burke here, and today is Wednesday, and you know what we do on Wednesdays, right? On Wednesdays we wear pink. I got this shirt at Target. It's this little, light little, pink little fun shirt, my Wednesday shirt. I just got done vacuuming, and I have a lot of videos that I need to upload, but I just want to come here briefly and give a little shout out to um, Lynn. Paytas, Trisha's Paytas, uh, mom, mama's got back. I got to give her a little credit. She was uh, doing this video about uh, fat girl uh, slim six pack uh, lotion. I'm like, ooh, I want to try that, you know. Uh, so I went to Ulta, and they had it, but it was like about forty, like thirty eight to forty bucks, right? But for the same price, a little bit more, they had this uh, Fat Girl Slim treatment, this whole four-pack thing. And you don't get the, the six-pack ab stuff, but you do get the scrub, and they have little testers, and the scrub is a pretty good scrub. Because some facial scrubs I'm not too happy about because they don't scrub enough. Like, I like real exfoliation, if you know what I mean. You know, like that, that's why, like, I guess the derma roller. But this has the scrub, and then it has this little device here that you scrub with it to get it really the circulation going. And then you have this cream, which I guess is kind of like the six pack ab cream, but it's a cream, not, not a gel. So I might get the one uh, Lynn was talking about, and then uh. And this is like while you sleep. It's kind of cream for you sleep. So same price, I thought, in their little trial sizes. So I thought I would try this first. Um, now, I know it's not a miracle thing. I know it's not going to make my stomach like real thin and stuff. But I am uh, hoping it will because I've just been following the reviews and stuff that it tightens the skin. And that's all I'm looking for because I exercise, I work out. It just would like a little firmness in the skin in that area. So I'll try it out. But they're like little nice size jars. So, uh, yeah, can't wait to try that out. And it came with a free little um, mask from Blisk. Do, do, do. You can see. There you go. Oxygen mask. So that's what I'm doing right now. I was going to do more videos, but it's kind of like overcast and weird. So I want to do videos on... Um, all the paintings, the stories to the paintings on my house, that on my house, in my house. Uh, I have a lot of Olivia uh, paintings, and I have a picture of Olivia painted of me and some of my friends, and so I'm going to give you that. I think I'm going to call it If the Walls Could Talk, something like that. And I have other ones. And I'm on episode only 67 of my Mary Hartman, Mary Hartman. I, I really do like this show. It is a little dry. It's a little weird, but I really relate to this Mary Hartman character. And I'm only on episode 67. I've been kind of slacking. And there's like like 200 and something episodes, like maybe 300 and something episodes. So I've been slacking on that. And I guess at the time, the day got away from me because I'm dealing with boy drama. You know, it's, it's usually either me and Roy fighting or me and the girls fighting, or me and the or the guys fighting, me and the guys fighting. But now it's there's two of my friends that are guys, and they're mad at each other. And one spoke for me and saying, "I'm just gonna let you know that you're not invited here." And da da da, because we call this place the embassy, because all of, we all live in the same building. And he goes, "You're not invited here at the embassy." So of course the other guy contacts me, and he goes. Did you just, did you say that, or is someone speaking for you? And I'm all, someone's speaking for me, because if I, if I say you're not invited, then it's going to, you're going to hear from me. I'm not going to let anyone else say it for me. So, 
I'm going to stay out of it, but I don't really appreciate someone being a mouthpiece for me. And if I want to invite someone over to my house, I'm going to invite them. Whether they have a beef or not, it's on them. So that's what I'm going through right now. I'm trying to stay out of it. But the same token, I want it to be known. I don't want anyone speaking for me. I'll speak for myself. Thank you very much. And I just think it's silly what they're fighting about. I think it's silly, silly, silly. But then again, I fight about certain things. But I think I'm silly too. So that's just a little quick little video on that. And um, probably just let you go. Or I might stick in a little bit of, um, I put a little bit of content, content. I filmed a little bit of content, if I could talk, um, on, on uh, St. Patty's Day. Just kind of showing my refrigerator. Just doing crap. So I might stick that right here. So I might say goodbye and I might not. Hmm. Let's see. Will I film it or will I not? Well, anyway, have a groovy day. Peace. If you want to see the rest of it, just keep on watching. Hi, guys. Stacy Burke here, and I'm wearing one of my many St. Patty's Day shirts. It's tomorrow. Today's Monday, the 16th. And I got off work and I went grocery shopping and I'm making some corned beef and cabbage. There it is. I'm going to put it on a very slow cooker. I'm cooking it for 10 hours and then I always like to cook it more. When it's done cooking for 10 hours, I'm actually going to restart it and cook it another 10 hours and then put the cabbage in later. Oh, I put some beer in it too and pickling spices. But can you tell I went to the grocery store? Can you tell? Now, we have a mixture of healthy stuff and not so healthy stuff. Roy likes his almond milk and his berries. He makes a shake every morning with his protein shakes and stuff. And then he likes potato salad and he likes fried chicken. And of course we have cottage cheese in there. We have carrots and broccoli. Our, our uh, bird Josephine likes to eat some of the carrots and broccoli as well. There's the cabbage for the corned beef for later. I got some colored greens. <clears throat> I got some salads back there. Some more salads back here. Of course, my champagne and my juice. And my coffee creamers, Gatorades. We have um, hard boiled eggs and regular eggs. And that's the steak that we had last night. I broke out my George Foreman grill and Roy wanted a steak. So we used the George Foreman grill and it t the steak came out pretty good. So that's pretty much it. Oh, and it's like I love like um, dips and stuff. Hummus. Of course my tomatoes. My red onions to make my breath stink. <laughs> I love red onions. Uh, tortillas. Lots of cheese. I get the good cheese. I get the low fat, you know, mixture of cheese. So it's not that bad. Uh, parsley, but no one's eating the parsley. So I don't know. I don't know. I thought that would be a good idea. So that's what I'm doing right now. I got, got done with work. I went grocery shopping. Making my corned beef and cabbage. Got some... Uh, new vitamins at the at the QVS I can't talk sorry it's like I have a hard time talking sometimes <laughs> as the sun is in my face and what else did I get at QVC I think that's about it I just got like some cool oh I got some shades you want to see my new shades that's in my walk-in closet uh, these are, these are pretty cool. My new shades. And a wreath for um, ooh, for the balcony to do Easter. I'm not gonna I'm not gonna come into my walk-in closet. It's it's a mess in here. I don't know. I don't know. I'll share that with you another time. 
So yeah, I'm just getting ready for uh, St. Patty's Day. Roy thought he had to go to San Diego yesterday um, for today, but he doesn't. So after he gets off work, we'll probably go to Murphy's and try their corned beef and cabbage. Because I was going to make some because I thought we wouldn't be able to go anywhere. But then I just got the, the message that he's not going to work tomorrow. So I guess we are going to go to Murphy's and have some of their corned beef and cabbage and partake in the festivities. So I guess I'll just uh, really slow cook this and have it for leftovers later. So that's what's going on with me. I'll probably blog it later. I knew I forgot to tell you what I got at um, CVS. These things, they're milk chocolate eggs. Do you see them? Truffle. Milk chocolate truffle eggs with strawberry cheesecake filling. Haven't tried them yet, but don't they look great? I had to get them. Don't need them. Had to get them. And then I got these two. Dove whole blueberries and they're dipped in dark chocolate. So this this is really healthy for you. It's an antioxidant. Antioxidant. <laughs> and um, just blueberries dipped in dark chocolate. Love being healthy when it's like that. Mm -hmm.